Hello friends, this video on circles part 5 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Now let's try to draw various circles from a given point. Let's suppose you have been given point 1. This is a point, right? Dot point. Now let's try to draw various circles passing through this point. So we can draw a circle like this, like this, like this, this, like this. So you see, there are so many circles which I could draw from one point infinite number of circles. Let's try to see with two points. So we can draw one circle like this, like this, like this. So if you see from two points also we can draw infinite circles. Infinite circles. Right? So if we have been given two points, we can draw infinite number of circles using these two points. Let's try from three points. Three points, there are two options. One is the three points are the same line, they are collinear and they are non-collinear. So let me write here two steps. Okay. And let's try to draw a circle. You'll see that you can draw only one circle from three non-collinear points, and from three collinear points, you can't draw a circle. Even if you try, you see, third point is not coming here. Right? So drawing from three collinear co points circle is impossible and you can draw only one circle from three non-collinear points. From three collinear points you can't draw a circle. That is our observation. This is all activity you are drawing actually on the piece of paper. Okay. So with this there is a theorem. Theorem that there is only one and only one circle passing through given three non collinear points. Please note three non collinear points. So, if you have three non collinear points from that, you can have only one circle passing through. And we need to prove it. So, we have been given three points. Let's try to prove it. Let's join these points. Okay. And let us name it. This be A, B, and C. Now, let's draw the uh, perpendicular bisector for these uh, lines A, B and A, C. Okay. I just drew a perpendicular bisector for these lines. You can actually uh, do, there are so many ways of doing it actually. You can uh, using do using protector or you can actually measure using scale this point and at this point you draw a perpendicular. Whatever ways you want, you can do it. Okay. I'm assuming this is a perpendicular bisector. These two are actually perpendicular bisector for these points. And let this point meet at O. Okay. Now, if you see this point O will actually lie on the perpendicular bisector of AB and O will also lie on the perpendicular bisector of BC. Okay. Now let's do one thing. Let's join these points OA, OB and OC. Let's join these points. Let's join these points. Now will you observe that OA will be equal to OB. OA is equal to OB. Why? Because if you see, this is a perpendicular bisector, right? So you can actually prove that these two triangles are congruent. And let, let me put some name here. Let me put this M and this point N. Right? So triangle AOM and triangle BOM, you'll see that both are congruent. Why? This is a common side, this is 90 degree and this is like equal, right? This side is equal to this side. So using the uh, congruency of triangles, you can actually prove that both the sides are equal, right? So OA will be equal to OB. Similarly, if you take these two triangles where BON is one triangle and CON is one triangle, this is C, CON is one triangle, you can prove that OC is equal to OB. You can actually do that, right? You can prove that these two, these two triangles are congruent, prove OA is equal to OB. Prove these two triangles are congruent, prove O B is equal to O C. So using these two equations, if you merge, you get what? O A is equal to O B is equal to O C. That means all these three lengths are equal. If these lengths are equal, we can actually consider them to be a radius and draw a circle. Right? Because these three lengths are equal. O A, O B, and O C. Right? So we'll call it as radius. And thus we can actually draw one circle. You see. Point A, B, C are actually equidistant from this point O. Okay. 
So if you draw a circle from the point O with a length of A O A or O B or A C all are same, it'll you'll actually draw a circle and this circle will pass through all these points A, B, and C. And now since these two perpendicular bisector which we have drawn in green can actually intersect only at one point, right? Because these two lines, any two lines can intersect only at one point. Thus, there will be only one center. Let me write here. Since two lines, in this case perpendicular bisector of A, B, and B, C can intersect. only at one point there will be only one center please note important concept here apply some brain we have to prove that there is only one see using the first thing we prove that we can draw one circle but what is the guarantee that you can draw only one circle for that we have to prove that See any two line if you take it can meet only at one point. Similarly here these two perpendicular bisector in green will only meet at one point. Since they will meet only at one point there can be only one center for a circle. Since there is only one center for a circle right that means there is only one circle. Okay. Let's take some numerical here. So it is given that we have been given an arc and we have to complete a circle. So what we can do is we can actually take three points on the circle on this arc. Now we have three points and now we also know how to draw a circle with three points. We can apply the same logic. Correct. So that is it is as good as we have three points draw a circle. Right. So if, if we are given an arc, just plot three points on the arc and you forget about the arc. Now using three points draw the circle. Pretty easy. Join these points. So once we have joined these points and let these points be a, B, and C. So once you have joined A, B, and B, C, we can draw a perpendicular bisector of A, B, and B, C and let that meet at point O. So if this meet at point O, what we can do is we can draw a circle from point O considering O, C, O, B, or O, A as the radius. Both are all are same. So we have seen this. Okay. Next question is draw different pairs of circle and how many points does each pair have in common? So that means we have to draw a pair of circle, that means we have to draw two circles. And we have to see how many points does each pair have in common and what is the maximum number of common points. So let's take these two circles and let's try to move the green circle. Okay. So now if you see at this state, at this state, how many common points? Zero common points, right? common points. So at this state there is a zero common point. Let's move this green circle ahead. So now if you see how many common points? Two common points. Right? Two common points. Let's mark this common point here and we'll say two common points. Let's move the circle ahead. Furthermore, we'll see that there's only one common point. And this is the common point. Right? Let's move the circle ahead. You'll see that again there's a zero common point. So we have seen four scenarios. Okay, let's do it once again. Zero common point. Then we have seen two common points, one common point, again zero common point. So if you want to draw this pair of circle, you can draw these all these four scenarios we discussed, and you can say that the maximum number of common point is. So the key takeaway from this question is any two circle, the maximum number of common point will be two. Right? So if you have two circles like this, this is a zero common point. So if you have two circles just touching each other, there's a one common point, two circle like this, there are two common points, two circle, one inside another, there are zero common point, right? Zero, one, two, and zero. So the maximum common point can be two, the minimum can be zero, and we can also have a scenario where there's only one common point between two circles. Suppose you are given a circle, give a construction to find its center. So here we have we are given the circle and we have to find the center. Same thing, we can just take three points. So if we have three points on the circle and let name as A, B and C. If we can join these points and then we can draw a perpendicular bisector of A, B and B, C. 
and the perpendicular bisector will actually meet at the point, and that point will be called center of the circle. Right? So this point is called now center of the circle. So finding center is pretty easy. So if we have a circle, just plot three points in the circle and then join these points A, B, and B, C. Draw the perpendicular bisector of A, B, and B, C, and this perpendicular bisector will actually meet the point, and that point will be the center of the circle. Why? Because we have seen that actually OA, OB, and OC are of the same length, and that length is called radius. If two circles intersect at two points, prove that their center lies on the perpendicular bisector of the common chord. So there are two circles and they intersect at two points. So you see there are two points here. Okay. And we have seen that the only way they can intersect at this point is this possible scenario. We have to prove that uh, their center lies on the perpendicular bisector of the common chord. So first draw, draw the common chord and let me name it A and B. Let A B be the common chord. So the common chord is A B. And we have to prove that the center lies on the perpendicular bisector of the common chord. So let's draw a perpendicular bisector of the common chord. So here this length is equal to this length, and this is 90 and this is 90. Right? So we and let this point be C. So what is given? Given AC is equal to BC, first thing. And it is also given, and let this point be O and O dash. And given that OCA is equal to OCB is equal to O dash C A is equal to O dash C B and all these are equal to 90 degree. These two things are given. Correct? So we have to prove that O and O dash and C all these align on the same line. Right? Because the perpendicular bisector is nothing but this whole line and let, let me name it XY. So all these XY is a perpendicular bisector. So I have to prove that O and O dash lies on this XY. See, this is the logical uh, explanation. AB is the chord of the circle with center O, right? So AB is the chord of the circle uh, with center O. That means perpendicular bisector of AB, that is X, C, will actually pass through O, right? So I can say that OC exists. Similarly, AB is also the chord for the center with circle O dash. Thus, the perpendicular bisector of AB here, that is O dash C, right, will pass through O dash. Perpendicular bisector this will pass through O dash. That means O dash C exists. Correct? That means I can say that the center of the circle actually lies on the perpendicular bisector, right? That perpendicular bisector here is XY. See, what I can say is, let me write. Since AB is chord for circle with center O, okay. So perpendicular bisector bisector in this case it is XY, okay. O will lie on XY because the center will actually lie on this perpendicular bisector. Similarly, since AB is chord for circle with center O dash, so again perpendicular bisector. x y if you take this o dash will lie on this right so o will lie on x y o dash will lie on x y that means both o and o dash will lie on x y and x y is nothing but the perpendicular bisector okay okay perpendicular bisector of a b will be same right if you have this a b you have only one perpendicular bisector so in both cases we have a common chord so we have a common perpendicular bisector Thank you. Visit our website examfear.com to watch more and more quality educational videos. You can also attempt free online tests that are there in our website. 
You can also get access to tons of free study materials and you can also find free tutors and mentors in this website. Thanks a lot for watching.